Hello boys and girls, this is your topic for vocabulary review. Let's look here at number one. And number one is the one with the star. We have a number six and we have a number nine. Let's pretend there's a seven written up here. Now we have to tell which of these numbers is greater than seven. That's bigger than seven. Is six bigger than seven or is nine bigger than seven? Nine is bigger than seven. And I know that because if I write my number sequence, two, three, four, or if I just count one, two, three, four, five, six, I came to six and I never reached seven yet, did I? No. So then I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine came after seven. So nine would be the greater number there. Let's look at number two. For number two, we count the counters. And then we need to tell how many. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many counters were there? There were seven. So we just write the number seven there. For number three, I want you to write the number that means none or nothing. What number means none or nothing? Do you remember? Go ahead and write it. Zero means none or nothing. And then for the next one, the number four, we need to count how many of each color there is. So there's one, two, red ones, and there's one, two, three, yellow ones. Which group is less than the other group? Which group is less than the other one? That would be the two, because there's not as many in the two group as there are the three. So we're going to draw a circle around the two, and then we're going to write the number two. Half a heart, and then a shoe. That is how we make a two. Look at this page now. To begin with, we have a three and an eight. We need to draw a circle around the number that is greater. Is three greater or is eight greater? Eight is greater, so we are going to draw a circle around that. How did you know eight was greater? You probably started counting in your head. One, two, three. Well, I reached three, but I haven't got into eight yet, so I know eight is bigger than three. For out of the numbers three and eight, which one is the lesser number? The lesser number is the three, so we're going to put an X on that three, just like that. Okay, for number six, you need to write a number that is greater than three, but less than five. Ooh, that's tricky, isn't it? So count one, two, three. It has to come after three, but before five. What number comes after three, but before five? It is the number four. Did you guys get that? Okay, for seven, draw five counters in a row. And then write the number to tell how many. So first of all, we need to draw five counters. So I'm getting my paintbrush out. One, two, three, 
fall five counters. Did you draw your five counters? Now we need to write the number to tell how many we drew. How many did we draw? We drew five, didn't we? Short neck, belly fat, number five, wears a hat. Okay, for number eight, we have some numbers missing. If we start at five and we count on five, what comes after five? Six. What comes after six? Seven. What comes after seven? Eight. Now we still have two numbers missing. I did those to begin with because that's counting forward, something we're used to doing. What number comes before five? One, two, three, four, five. What did I say right before five? I said four. Five, four. What comes before four? One, two, three, four. What number comes right before four? It would be three, would it? Around the tree and around the tree. That is how we make a three. Thank you for doing these pages with me today, boys and girls. You have more pages to do in the next video.